Welcome everybody. Uh, this video is one of the uh, video series uh, about the spleen and in this uh, tutorial video I'm going to talk to you about the arterial supply of the spleen. Uh, briefly, you know, let us get it from the end. The spleen um, got, uh, got um, its supply mainly from splenic artery which is a branch of celiac trunk this is the abdominal aorta here and you know this is the uh, celiac uh, trunk which is one of the three anterior branches of the uh, aorta so one of the main branch of the celiac trunk is the splenic artery this is the splenic artery you know, as you see, this is the pancreas, and you can see that the splenic artery that supplies the spleen, looks from its name, splenic, the supply for the spleen, it passes um, along the uh, body and uh, tail of the pancreas at the upper border of it. So if you look, this is the uh, upper border of the pancreas and this is a tertuous uh, artery it's known as splenic artery. Look, it's tertuous and it um, uh, goes all the way toward the spleen until it reaches the hilum of the spleen. Then it divides into five or six branches, as you see, or these are branches in the hilum. And um, what else? Most importantly, the splenic artery and also the splenic vein and the tail of pancreas, all of them uh, uh, get the access to the hilum of spleen through the splenorenal ligament the ligament between the hilum of the spleen and the anterior um, uh, surface of the left kidney there is another there is a, another video uh, about splenorenal uh, ligament you can watch but let me show you uh, this is the visceral surface of the spleen and there is uh, two we can see uh, two ligaments this one is the uh, gastro splenic ligament that means between the uh, uh, stomach and the spleen but we I'm talking about this one which is the um, splenorenal ligament no, let me uh, raise this and use this pen so okay this ligament is the splenorenal ligament. Look, there is um, in, indeed it's a path uh, for or a route for the splenic arteries and vein, you know, for the entrance of these vessels and exit, of course, for artery and vein. And there is a place for uh, or officer for the tail of the pancreas. Look, you know, this is the tail of the pancreas, and this is the body, and so forth. So, this is the pancreas, and this is the tail of the pancreas. So, splenic vessels and tail of pancreas uh, 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 contained within the splenorenal ligament. What about the uh, uh, venous drainage? You know, we mentioned the arterial supply. The venous drainage is also is easy to remember, which is... Uh, you know, throw the mainly through the uh, uh, splenic vein. So the drainage from the spleen um, uh, uh, or the blood from the spleen drained by the splenic vein that passes from the hilum right behind the uh, uh, tail and body of the uh, pancreas all the way until the until it reaches the uh, neck. Of the pancreas, this area. I want to use another pen, right? Use the red. Now, this area 
is the location of the neck of the pancreas because you see this is the head of the pancreas and here in the neck so this is the neck of the pancreas and this is the body all the way and this is the tail of the pancreas so I'll raise it and make it like uh, okay so blood flow blood from the spleen drains through the splenic vein that passes behind the tail and body of the pancreas and it receives in um, uh, in its way uh, a vein that's called inferior mesenteric vein then they unite again or indeed the splenic vein receives the inferior uh, mesenteric vein and it continues to unite with this important vein it's called superior mesenteric vein so this is a superior mesenteric uh, vein and they unite I mean splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein they unite behind the neck of the pancreas which is important and they form the most important uh, or very important vein which is called hepatic portal vein that uh, 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 drains the uh, blood from GI and different organs in our body toward the uh, liver and this is the uh, liver this is called hepatic portal uh, vein now you can see here also this is the uh, I'll use another vein okay here is the uh, spleen and this is splenic vein and a splenic artery both in the uh, splenorenal uh, ligament okay and uh, guys now let me uh, just uh, show you uh, a kind of a clinical uh, correlations related to the um, uh, spleen and uh, as we talk about the anatomy of the um, uh, spleen first of all you know I mentioned that anyway in another video but um, there is a kind of enlargement you heard about the uh, enlargement of the spleen something called splenomegaly so the enlargement of the spleen can be filled or the spleen can be uh, filled uh, uh, in the subcostal uh, region if the uh, mainly the spleen becomes like three times uh, larger than its actual size and you know there is a notch on the uh, anterior uh, border of the spleen and indeed uh, these notch um, are very helpful to feel the, the uh, enlarged uh, spleen and to differentiate it from other uh, uh, structures and if you uh, I want to raise this stuff and if you look here guys you can see that okay this is a transverse colon and then descending colon and you see there is a ligament here which is you know it connects the um, uh, colic or the transverse colon or indeed exactly the left colic flexure and to the uh, uh, diaphragm and this ligament is called phrenico colic ligament what does it mean phrenico it's something related to the diaphragm that's called phrenico colic to the uh, intestine and here we talk about the uh, large intestine and so this ligament in case of splenomegaly enlargement of the spleen the spleen will move downward and a little bit medially why because of the of this ligament that kind you know kind of prevents the spleen from moving uh, just downward in this diagram you see that the spleen moved like this enlarged spleen moved like medially and inferiorly that push the transverse colon and even the descending um, uh, colon subcostally uh, this is about the uh, spleno uh, megaly and also there is another uh, um, clinical point which is important from anatomical view you see this is the uh, pancreas and uh, 
is the head and neck and body and most importantly the tail this is the tail of the pancreas and as we mentioned that the tail uh, inserted uh, in the uh, uh, splenorenal ligament with the splenic vessels in case you know there is no way just to or the only way if there is if it's the only way to um, uh, if the spleno um, the splenectomy is the only way to treat the enlargement of the spleen I mean if the the only way to treat the uh, uh, spleen by removing it and a surgery that's known as splenectomy removing the uh, surgical removal of the uh, spleen so you have to make sure that the tail of the pancreas will not be injured and this is uh, uh, common because of its closed relation to the uh, spleen and another point you know because the uh, uh, spleen is closed or against the uh, ribs number 9, 10 and 11 so it's you know um, more uh, susceptible for uh, or more viable for injury especially in case of uh, automobile accident and uh, uh, in case if there is a fracture or fractures in one or all maybe of uh, these uh, ribs so you know the, the ribs when uh, they fract when there is a fracture in the ribs the uh, fragments of the bone become uh, like a knife right so that's it becomes like easier to penetrate the abdominal wall and injure the organs uh, such as for example the uh, spleen thank you so much and uh, hope you'll find uh, value in it thank you